A Japanese financial holding company, Nomura Holdings, has published a new analysis on seven emerging economies at risk of an exchange rate crisis. The startling factor included in its report for Sri Lanka is that the island nation is also included among the seven highlighted countries, accompanied by South Africa, Argentina, Pakistan, Egypt, Turkey and Ukraine. With five of the seven nations already in a currency crisis or under a program run by the International Monetary Fund, South Africa and Pakistan appear to be standout countries from the group identified to be at risk. Nomura's findings are based on an early warning model called Damocles, set up to identify exchange rate crisis for 30 emerging economies. The model examines a variety of factors including foreign exchange reserves, debt levels, interest rates and import cover. According to the analyst, it has predicted two-thirds of the 54 developing nation exchange rate crisis since 1996, up to 12 months in advance. Taking to Twitter, State Minister of National Policies and Economic Affairs, Dr. Harsha De Silva alerted that the CBSL has moved to seek clarification from Nomura Holdings over its erroneous analysis that put Sri Lanka at high risk of an exchange rate crisis. Addressing a letter to Nomura Holdings, the CBSL refuted the figures highlighted in the report. It said, although Nomura's report gives Sri Lanka the worst outlook, saying the country's refinancing needs are large, owing to reserves of less than five months of import cover and high short-term external of 160 billion US dollars, Sri Lanka's short-term external debt is nowhere near the 160 billion USD quoted in the article. Therefore, the CBSL says Nomura's analysis had made a serious computational error with regard to Sri Lanka's vulnerability. It went on to say that Sri Lanka's short-term external debt are currently estimated at $14.3 billion, stressing that such an erroneous report is likely to trigger a disturbance amongst the investors and could cause irreplaceable damages to Sri Lanka given the current volatile global market conditions. Speaking to First at Nine, Senior Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. P. Nandalal Veerasinghe urged people not to be misled by such incorrect information. Please don't get misled by all these reports which are based on incorrect information. The Nomura Holdings has very little business as far as we know or with Sri Lanka. They have never consulted, they have never cross-checked the accuracy of their report with us before they issuing it to the public international media. Even if you consider Sri Lanka's exposure to short-term external liabilities, on the government side, what we have is maximum. The foreign investors, investment in government securities, total exposure that we have at this point of time is less than US dollar $2 billion. To cover that exposure, more than $8 billion worth of reserves. And in addition, we have almost close to five months of imports, import coverage. So if you look at these numbers, I don't see any reason for us to be concerned. Also elaborating on the matter, business cycle analyst Dr. Kenneth De Silva said, although they have quoted incorrect figures on Sri Lanka's short-term external debt, including Sri Lanka among the emerging economies at risk of an exchange rate crisis, is agreeable. Globally, also we find that many of the Asian currencies are under a lot of stress with regard to the uh, exchange rates. And these exchange rates have depreciated significantly, causing a lot of concern to be raised about the viability of investments within Asia. Within that context, Sri Lanka also has been mentioned as a high-risk uh, country in that regard. Uh, the article which says that Sri Lanka has uh, vulnerability to foreign exchange is somewhat correct, even though the numbers are incorrect. The concentration risk is significant in the short term. We have to kind of focus on how we are going to manage our external debt, debt stock and our external cash flows. Within those parameters, if central bank can look at restructuring its debt portfolio and shifting some of its shorter term maturities, I think the currency will not be under so much of pressure.